Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 3, Karma Yoga, Yoga of Action. Text 3.1 If in your opinion, O Janardana, knowledge is superior to action, then why, O Keshava, are you engaging me in this horrible action? Arjuna's confusion with regard to Krishna's apparent simultaneous advocacy of action and knowledge appears in seed form in the previous chapter. In verse 38 of chapter 2, Krishna tells Arjuna to fight after having explained to him the wisdom of the soul and the fact that no one kills or is killed. Arjuna's doubt is addressed in the subsequent verse, but not such that it is removed. Indeed, Krishna's apparent advocacy of Bhakti therein only adds to Arjuna's confusion. At the onset of chapter 3, the seed of Arjuna's lingering doubt blossoms in the first two verses. Arjuna's question arises from the fact that first and foremost he is a devotee of Krishna and thus has no interest in either the path of action or knowledge. Although his awareness of his status as a devotee has been somewhat suppressed by Krishna's arrangement, giving rise to apparent ignorance, it has not been lost and therefore it surfaces here as it does in other places throughout the Gita. Thus, here Arjuna addresses Krishna as Janardana. By this address he says to Krishna, O you who are petitioned, Ardana, by all persons, Jana, for the fulfillment of their desires, I too pray to you that I might know what is best for me. Vishwanath Chakravarti adds that the epithet Janardana has another meaning. Arjuna intimates that Krishna makes his friends, Jana, suffer, Ardana, by giving them painful orders of this type. However, by then addressing him as Keshava, Arjuna immediately admits that no living being can ignore Krishna's desire. For even Brahma, Ka, and Shiva, Isha, are under his troll. Va from Vasha. Arjuna wonders why Krishna has urged him to engage in such an unpalatable action as killing his relatives and even his gurus if knowledge is superior to action. He says, Tat kim karmani gore maam. Then, why you are engaging me in this horrible action? implying through the bird ma'am, me, who am your devotee and thus not even interested in the path of knowledge, much less that of karma. Madhusudana Saraswati also acknowledges Arjuna's underlying devotional sentiment. He hears him saying, O Keshava, Lord of all, it does not befit you who are the fulfiller of all desires, to deceive me, a devotee who has approached you as the sole refuge. Thus Arjuna wonders that if jnana or knowledge of the self is the ideal and more so bhakti, why should he engage in battle as Krishna has instructed him? Krishna's response to Arjuna's confusion beginning with the third verse of this chapter, is an elaboration of the efficacy of Nishkama Karma Yoga, the principal subject of this chapter.